I'm just eating this awesome salad that I made for lunch and I'm in self-quarantine like all of y'all in self-isolation. So I'm going to bring you a weekly vlog for whatever I get up to this week. I'm really grateful though because I am working in collaboration with Diva Cup who sponsored this video. And originally I was going to do a vlog about packing for Bali for my Live With Purpose retreat, but we've had to cancel that or postpone that really due to the entire world changing a few weeks ago. Um, and that's okay, but I'm glad they were still open to working with me on a vlog about what this week has really become and what it kind of means for all of us. <clears throat> so I'll be sharing my week and maybe right now offer some perspective on what's going on um, or some personal perspective and advice. If you're going through a tough time, it's okay. This is completely new challenges for all of us. And if you're experiencing loss of any kind, my condolences and I'm really sorry because it really sucks what everyone's going through right now all over the world. Um, and if you're working on the front lines, then I commend you because that's the hardest job of all to be dealing with this crisis that we've never encountered before. So let's just remember that we're all in this together and that we can love from afar uh, even though we have to social distance, right? And so that's why I wanted to be back on YouTube and vlogging and not also on the Hot For Food YouTube channel making content because really all I can offer is uh, a source of entertainment and uh, a way to distract yourself if that's what you need. So that's why I'm online. I think it's important because we have these platforms where we can all share stories and uh, be there for each other in like a, a, just a really unique way because we have these outlets. So. We're in a time of transformation and change is really what's going on and we don't know you know what's going to happen and we can't really plan ahead we can only stay present and try to go with that flow as hard as it might seem um diva cup is a brand that i really really like and i'm glad that i get to support them and share this with you they're another thing that i started using in 2015 that really did transform my life it was uh just a little short while after i had actually lost my job in 2014 um and this is a life-changing thing so at the very least go check out this instagram contest that i'm running on my instagram at lauren toyota because i'm going to give away five prize packs uh each containing a diva cup in your size because it comes in three sizes and a diva wash uh, they come in three sizes for your age and flow so it's not one size fits all and i can at least give you an opportunity to win one of those uh, if you're not using this already you must it is low waste no waste you buy it you use it for a while you don't have to spend your money and uh, create waste with lots of menstrual products that really don't work anyways uh, this is something i wish i knew about when i was a teenager because what a nightmare having to deal with pads, which I used pads and not tampons. But anyways, these other products don't work. This works and this is sort of like frees you up from the disruption that we all think and have been told our periods are. They really not, aren't meant to be disruptive. And when you switch to a Diva Cup, it feels that way. You kind of don't notice that you have a period and it's amazing because you can still do all the things you want to do and wear all the clothes you want to wear without worrying about leaking and all those problems. So that's why i love it you can get out and move and hike and do your high intensity workouts and just really you don't feel like you have this thing going on down there that you have to be preoccupied about all of the time um so check the link in my description because i have linked to uh some more information on how to use it how to insert it how to wash it all the things that you do want to know and I've also heard from a lot of people in my past posts about this on Instagram, people whose lives have also transformed and changed from using this. So we're all on the same page. All the Team Diva Cup people know what's going on. If you haven't done it yet, come join the team, man. It's totally liberating, really. And so anyway, that's my little testimonial. Love this little thing. And it's easy to pack up and go. It's in your bag all the time. It takes up no space. There you go. Now, if we're all sitting at home and we're all trying to figure out ways how to deal with what's going on, which is what we're doing, uh, two things that I wanted to share is that, you know, I was just speaking about how you can move and do exercises while wearing a Diva Cup, no big deal. Movement is actually something that I think is super important um, for shifting energy. And so if you're anxious and fearful and 
you know, not handling things well, move. At the very least, get outside and walk or jog or hike or stretch your body inside if you can't go outside. Do some yoga with a, a video guide or whatever. But by moving the physical body, you are moving, you know, emotions out and through and stagnant energy. And it really is important for your mental health and your state of mind, which I think is the thing we have to be most mindful about right now is where is our perspective where is our mental state and where is our mind and how you know the only thing we can really control is how we react to things that are going on We're in this big unknown space i mean all we can do is observe and then you know be really aware of how we're reacting to those things so movement and exercise is going to be really important and also meditation which is something that has helped me in times of crisis and times of um vast unknown and transformation and I sort of you know have this perspective from my personal experience where this feels kind of similar to um, when I lost my job twice in 2008 and 2014 uh, and I have this sort of perspective where in 2008 the first time it happened I really was not handling it well and I didn't have any tools to like you know have a positive optimistic perspective on what was going on and i got stuck in it for a long time and in 2014 because i had started meditating a year prior i was in a diff entirely different energy and headspace about things and i saw what was going on as an opportunity uh, it created a lot of space and unknowingness and stress and scariness but i handled it entirely differently and i reaped a lot of positive benefits because of that and so that's just something to be mindful of right now course there's absolutely no expectation on what you need to do but I'm just wanting to offer a couple of, of tips in case you're struggling um, because you know meditation can just be something you ease into it doesn't have to be this big thing and you you're supposed to clear your mind and just have positive thoughts that's not at all what I'm, I'm saying to do but you can incrementally sort of work your way baby step by baby step from perhaps a very dark place to a slightly better place and then a slightly better place the next day and then a slightly better place the next day and I have just found that meditation is the key to that so try those two things movement and meditation um, also healthy eats uh, I'm offering that on my hot for food channel because I have brought back content there so go check that out um, so I'm just going to be sharing what happens this week, whatever that is. I don't know what it will be, but thanks for being here. And hopefully this gives you a little break from watching the news. Don't watch the news. <laughs> just get information from the people who are watching the news, but don't watch the news. At least not too much. You need to take a break from that, right? So that's why I'm here. I'm your break from, from the news. stuff to do but I'm finishing watching this movie on Netflix Spencer Confidential with Mark Wahlberg I started it last night and fell asleep it's uh it's whatever everyone's watching it but uh, it's not very good <laughs> friggin' bougainvillea. It's popping off. It was struggling so hard when I first got it. And it's been raining so much here that it's like, it's doing very well. So the sun came out. I'm gonna um, go on a little jog to, there's a park like 40 minutes away. Maybe I'll just stretch right here for a bit and then go on a run.
what's up? No, I'm not smoking. It's uh, Palo Santo. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to meditate and then I'm going to do a fitness class online. So I'm sure you're finding lots of things online to do. Here's what I'm doing. Uh, the account Misfit Studio, which is in Toronto. I go there sometimes. They are holding online classes and all the teachers are holding online classes. So my friend Rachel is doing one. Uh, I'm gonna do that this morning. So at Misfit Studio. Definitely if you wanna do some meditation, Natalie.Matthias, my best friend Natalie. She's doing various things on her Instagram as well, uh, including teaching a Misfit class. So go to her Instagram and uh, see what she's up to and what she's offering. Her classes and her free live meditations are all in her bio at the top of the page. Lots of things. We can all share resources in the comments below if you want exercise classes, all these kinds of things. Um, so yeah, just gonna meditate, drink some coffee first quickly. Slowly, I mean, drink it slowly. <laughs> Snickles is buzzing around here. I don't know why he wants more food, I just fed him. Well, today I've just been having fun playing around with a video idea. Uh, my boyfriend is not here. He's in London, Ontario. So him and his uh, colleague were basically trapped together. <laughs> they filmed a video for me because we were talking on the phone about it and it was really funny. So I edited that. It's on the Hot For Food YouTube channel and in my IGTV on at Hot For Food. Um, I don't know, I had fun. They went and tasted the PLT burger. Uh, which is only in Canada, so there's a full taste test from a carnivore, which you should go watch um, But I love making videos. I just want to make videos without any like I don't know. There's no pressure right now. So I feel like it's better All right. Well now I'm just gonna eat my first meal of the day. It's leftovers from the hot for food video that I shot yesterday uh, And I'm in the middle of editing something and I'm gonna watch divorce I was gonna try to not do work today because I've actually been working quite a lot the last three days, but uh, just I can't seem to stop for some reason. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm compiling a feel-good playlist. I use um, Apple Music, but I was gonna um, give you the list of the songs once I finish. It probably won't be a super long playlist, but these are like the songs I listen to when I just wanna like be in a good mood. Um, so I'll share that coming up here in this vlog and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat now. It smells amazing. <laughs> Alright, I have eaten a frozen burrito that I cooked with some salad. Didn't shoot that. Talked to a few people on FaceTime and debating whether to go outside, but I'm starting to become so um, hermitized or something, what would be the word, that I'm almost apprehensive about actually going outside. <laughs> Uh, I know it's safe outside as long as you're not near people, but I'm just like I'm getting a little too used to this um, So I told you I was gonna tell you about feel-good songs I wish I could actually play them on YouTube, but I'll get 
copyright warnings and then can't monetize my video. So I'm gonna rhyme them off and then I'll link to my Apple playlist, which can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I think I can share it. Okay, well, I don't know if I can, but I'll try to put it down below so you can at least see the songs and then you can add them to your own playlist of whatever thing you use. So the songs in no particular order, this is just how they're added in here. We have the Doobie Brothers, What a Fool Believes. Love that song. Listen to it on repeat constantly. Another Day in Paradise by Phil Collins. You'll notice these are all from a certain time and era and there's nothing new on here. It's all oldies, cause that's all feel good and it's my favorite. Hollow Notes, I Can't Go For That. Eagles, One Of These Nights, love that song. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, Jimmy Mac. The Jacksons, Can You Feel It? That's a good one. Smokey Robinson, Going to a Go-Go. More Phil Collins, Take Me Home. Stars by Simply Red. Your Love is King by Sade. Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I Can Feel the Earth Move by Carol King. You Belong to Me by Carly Simon. Have a Heart by Bonnie Raitt. Shout out to Timmy because he got me back onto Bonnie Raitt. I used to love that song when I was little because it was always on the radio, but I kind of forgot about Bonnie Raitt. Hold On by Wilson Phillips. Listen to the music by the Doobie Brothers. Michael McDonald, I Keep Forgettin'. Uh, Bang a Gong by T-Rex. Queen Bitch by David Bowie. The Psychedelic Furs, Love My Way. Jolene by Dolly Parton. Every Time You Go Away by Paul Young. Magic Man by Heart. The Way It Is by Bruce Hornsby. Caribbean Queen by Billy Ocean. Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. The Logical Song by Supertramp. Every Little Step by Bobby Brown. Giving You the Best That I Got by Anita Baker. I love Anita Baker. That's The Way Love Goes by Janet Jackson. Probably one of my favorite songs of all time. Part Time Lover by Stevie Wonder. I Wanna Dance With Somebody by Whitney Houston. Let's Groove by Earth, Wind & Fire. Snickle. <laughs> Let's Stay Together by Al Green. It's Too Late by Carole King. How Sweet It Is by James Taylor. Uptown Girl by Billy Joel and California by Joni Mitchell. That is my feel good playlist. I keep adding to it, but start there uh, if you're into any of those songs. If you've never heard those songs, try listening to them and see if you like them. I'd be curious to know. And you know what? Y'all can share other recommendations below in the comments for each other of other feel good songs and maybe I'll add some of those to my playlist too. So that's that. Snickle, what are you doing? That's not your spot. That's not your spot. <gasps> oh, Snickle. You're not allowed getting the couch all hairy. You want to go outside? We can go on a little adventure. I'm just setting up to shoot photos because I'm going to try testing a recipe or two. Um, so I set it all up just so it's out of the way and ready to go. This is how I do it now. I used to do it just with daylight, but the setup in here is a little bit weird and the windows and stuff. So I find it's easier now to just do this, even though it looks like a lot of work. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what I end up with here. Make hazelnut pancakes for our breakfast in bed. Madison J. Thank you for the idea. Recipe is now on the blog. Hotfruitfoodblog.com. There's candied hazelnuts on top. They're so good. The texture of like flour mixed with ground nut is just like really good. Mmm. These turned out perfect. Okay, this stuff is so good. Mm. By now that's on the blog too, so. Mm. Jackfruit kimchi melt. So good. No, I guess basically like when I was there, I realized that Snickles had complete control over you. I mean, every aspect of your life, like basically whenever you weren't there, he knew exactly what to do. He knew when to use the litter box so that right when you arrived home, 
he knew that you that you that he used it and you would get upset and he liked that and then he watched you clean the litter box yeah. and then he said i want food and then you had to give him food and then when you went to bed i remember i went to bed and i woke up early before you did and he was sitting under the chair by your room staring at your door and he was waiting for you to come out and you came out and you said good morning snickles and then he bit you <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't bite other does he bite other people no only me ever only yeah and he he bites you to say look this is how it is <laughs> yeah. he just has to remind you he's in control he knows that he has you wrapped around his I want to say finger. He has you wrapped around his paw. And if you don't feed him, he gets upset and he'll act out. And, and he stuff. purposely only barfs on my nice carpet. And so well, he, that's a blatant just act of, I'm upset. You're not listening to me. Yeah. My favorite aspect of your relationship with Snickles is that he will get close to you and he will bite you. <laughs> every every once in a while, just to remind you that he is in control. It's it's this is his world and you're living in it. Yeah, I know. It's pathetic, really. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting right here listening to this whole thing too, pretending he's not. And he's, li and he's listening to the whole this whole video. Yeah, his eyes are half open. He's listening. He's getting no. He's that's a, that's the thing. He acts like he acts like nothing's happening, nothing's going on. He's just hanging out. No, <laughs> no. He he. There's a lot going on in that little head of his. He's it's there's a lot. He's a sociopath. Well, do you think you he's know, a, he's a sociopath? He gets to he gets to do whatever he wants. Yeah, and I it's can't. I cater to him. And you ca and you catered everything. Yeah, I don't do that for anyone. Well, I just noticed when you were cleaning out the litter box, the way he looked at you it was like, <laughs> "Yep, <laughs> clean it out." I know. And he just watched you. He was like, "Yep," and he knew. Because when you clean the litter box, I saw him. He looks at you the whole time. I know it's really funny. <laughs> All right, well, this is the last day of my vlog and my battery's about to die, so I'll keep it short. Uh, thanks for watching and being here during self-quarantine and isolation. I don't know where we're at at this point in time because I shot this about a week and a half before you're watching it. So hopefully all is still well where you are and I'm gonna be in self-iso until like April 20th at least, but I suspect it's gonna be longer. Um, that's the date that the mayor here in California gave. So, anyway, be well, stay safe, eat well, and, uh, keep watching some vlogs if you want to go back in the archives and, you know, see what I was up to pre, um, apocalypse. Okay, I'm just kidding. I don't think it's the apocalypse, but I do think things are transforming in a positive way, and I'm trying to maintain some optimism and hope here that our world is going to change drastically more than it already has and it's gonna be for the better. So I'll see y'all next time and I'll be here mostly every Wednesday and definitely go check out Hot For Food's YouTube channel as well. And follow me on Instagram because you never know, I might be going live sometime soon. Okay, bye y'all, love ya.